What's the this the song you said the, the, the slow one? It goes from here. We're live. L'chaim. <laughs> L'chaim, l'chaim, chaver. Oh. Good tovach, everyone. Good tovach, chaver. Wow, it's amazing. I'm speaking to just a couple of people, but it's like... Broad, very broad. Very could, broad audience. Could you imagine the Bashem Tov having that capability, that technology? To be able to speak his his toiris and like his knowledge and, and the oiris, the lights, he could spark the world. So I think we really have to do the Bashantas work now. We do. That's gonna bring Mashiach ever. Oh yeah. It's my pleasure and with joy to introduce to you the one and only Yaili Libwitz. Wow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Ah, I needed it. There was a lot of almost, but you should know that Yael is quite, quite busy. To get him here, it took a long, long time, about three years. Oh, that's true, yeah. <laughs> but I wanted every week. I really wanted. Whenever they called, I said, oh, I want to do it. I All do around it. the world. And it's sad, you know, the difference between spiritual wanting and physical wanting, right? If you, if you want something physically and you can't get it, you don't get it. But in a spiritual level, if you want something... If you think something, if you want something very well, and uh, you really want it, but you can't really get it, the Gemara says, It's just, it's considered as if you have done it. So, I've been here many times. <laughs> it's not the first time. But I'm enjoying every single second of it. Okay, let's take it away here. a Yom Tov called Shabbos. It's amazing. And after Shabbos is over, we have that high. We're wishing everyone, especially now, everyone watching, those who are still searching for their soulmate, this is the week, you know. We're already saying Simen Tov and And for those waiting for other Simchas, you know, now's the time. So let's rejoice Simen, Simen Mazel, mazel tov, Yelanu lecha Yisrael, Amen. Dovid melech, melech Yisrael, Dovid melech, melech Yisrael, Dovid melech, melech Yisrael, Melech Yisrael, Chai v'kayom. Israel, 
Melech Yisrael, Tai Vikaya, Simen, Simen To, Mazel, Mazel To, Yehelanu Lecha Yisrael, Amen, Simen, Simen To, Mazel, Mazel To, Yehelanu Everybody, we're so pleased to be here again in Flow Motion Studios. They take care of all <laughs> the technical stuff. It's amazing because yeah. it's the opposite of slow motion. It's like flow motion. Yeah. Everything quick. Everything, Everything is done flows. like this. Oh yeah. You just get in here two minutes before we go live and we start the show. Okay, what else we got? So here? I wanted to sing. There's a song of Shlema. It's called It's Kresicha Ka I don't know if you ever heard it. Did you? I haven't. No. It's one of these songs, that's one of these hidden jams. Many people do know it. It's a simple song, but it's just so much heart. And we have the opportunity now to share it with everyone, so I'm excited. So you're going to teach it to me? I just don't remember um, the words so well. So I'm going to look and cheat over here. I'm going to teach it to you. You good, friend? Is a good key? Let me see if there's a good key. Uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. I'm gonna try. Let's see. <coughs> yeah. Take it down? Take it yeah. You wanna go a little bit down? Maybe. Let's just the risk, you know, in front of so many people. Yeah. Let's <laughs> slow a little bit. Slower. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see more yeah. like in between, like with the mechitza, you know. <laughs> Is that a real thing?
amazing, right? It is beautiful. Similar. Same composer. They're allowed to. Guys, you could request, you could comment, and then we're going to look, we're going to try to see what we can do. Amazing. Medallas, they were shivers, but they were When, you know, Masa Shabbos, there's a thing called a Geld Masa. You ever heard of Geld Masa? Mechsidam, Masa Shabbos, they said a story about a tzaddik that had to do something with money. <laughs> Not to be stereotypical. But we need to have, you know, an asterisk is more expensive than a lemon. And, you know, a lulu is more expensive than a rose. So it's a gelt month. Gilt, yes. Me, you, 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 Shabbos, that's what you think. And there's about. two types of money. That's what I'm thinking right now. A title on this. Why are we asking me yoyim There's a different. There's a there's a moment of yoyim moment and there's a lila moment, right? There's a yoyim moment where everything is clear, everything goes well. And then there's a lila moment when everything is dark and it's 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 hard. What do you say? Like, I want to give to that. I can, right? So we're asking, Beyond Vadaila Hashem, take us out from the poorness. Now, what's the poorness when you're, everything is yoim, everything is fine? Sometimes, you know, you can have all the money in the world, right? But tell me what that's like. <laughs> you know, yes, right? But there are some people who are so poor that all they have is money. That's sad. When they have the money, but they're so poor because they have nothing else. So we're asking, take us out from this poorness and from that poorness. We both need real richness. Asia, Asher, Samer, Bechelka, right? Let us be happy with our chalak, you know? Give us a nice chalak. Amazing. That's a good bracha. So, yeah. Combination. It's actually Yesef Yitzchak. That's oh, my wow. original How did it happen? Your yeah. yeah. grandparents like, are Russian. They were fit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Russian, yeah. So, you know, yeah, that's amazing coming together here. And, uh, yeah, someone over here writes. What is your right of hand? Yossi's. Your Novi, Animamin. We have, we have good requests. We have our whole show set already. Yossi Stern, who's you in Uman and Rosh Hashanah? He says you were dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> yeah, I believe oh, it. Oh, wow, it's amazing. Uman is amazing. By the way, you know there's a lot of Chabad houses in Uman. Yeah, we saw that. Wherever there's people, there's Chabad. <laughs> amazing. The truth is, Chabad is also where there's no people. You know, you still, <laughs> if you're not there, you don't know, but they're always looking for a minion. Amazing. Let's if there's Chabad houses where, where there's no people, is there a sound for many of them? Yeah, is there, are they looking for many? Yeah. Amazing. A lot of famous songs are actually from Tillin. Yes. I believe that when David Amelach wrote it, he wrote it in similar tunes. <laughs> Shine, 
Shalom, this one probably, you know. No, not really. No. I want to play something. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see what we got here. Moshe of Haram from Shlomo. Oh. So I want to sing Moshe of Haram, but I want to start it with the tune that he was inspired with at first, before he composed Moshe of Haram. So he heard a tune by the Koisel from someone. From Russia, I, I don't remember exactly the story, but this is the tune that he got, and that's what he based on so many tunes. The chords were like this. So it's with one such small movie's caver, you know? And, you know, one entrance is the caver where we go in, but then there's the other side. It's, it's a mask now, but it's open sometimes. So I went in, it was empty. It was between me and Gavril and Gavril. And the acoustics over there are like... So I went... Da, 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 da. 
Spider Man also have a, I love a scale it. like this. It comes from Star, I think, this one. I can only go so high when I when I do Sparty. And Ashkenazi it just finishes that. Nah. Gosh, I was now in, in I was in Morocco. They have every every person's a single chazan over there. They have this. They have it's it. because the way their voice works. Yeah. The way they they speak already. The they're language. trained to say the iron already yeah. straight up. So there. the iron it's already it gets their voice to work in such a way that it's it saves them from half the problems that uh, regular. <laughs> no, we're, we're, yeah, yeah. They they're already singing with their resonance. Also, the food that they eat, you should know. When you have good food, you could sing well. Ah, <laughs> well, you're doing a great job, so I don't know what you had today. Uh, <laughs> let's get back. Maybe we should do something for other. Nishama, All right. They want, people want. There's Nishama. so many people. Think, uh, I'll tell you something interesting. Um, you know, we sing a lot of Shlomo songs. You know, the whole world. Imagine a world without Shlomo. And I'm just like, just like for a second. <laughs> I mean, it would be beautiful songs, but. And I, come would on. Be singing uh, Vincent Schenker. No, it would be great, but this is international language of yeah, song. So, if you want to, if you go to a Chabad house, they, you know that. You, you go to any Chabad house, if you want to connect everyone who is there, the crowd. The Bri Chatichon is a nice crowd of tune. Of course, Chesed Shatun from Naim is beyond, beyond. But there's something that this generation was very to, you know? I'll tell you something, Shlomo taught me something very nice. Not taught me, taught the world, but taught that uh, I learned from that. You know, he, he always says, Heilige, holy, holy, right? So, first of all, if, you know, the Shem Tov says that if you look at, at each other, whatever you see in that person, that's the mirror, that's, that's who you are, right? So, you know, some people can always find something nasty to say something about, you know, you have to look into yourself and find that little chomets and like the little nastiness and clean it. it out. But if you see in, in each other, you, how holy you are, then that means you're holy. And you know, who else do you know in this world in the, you know, who, who said, who saw so much holiness in so many people from all, and, and every angle. Whenever he saw anyone, like he saw the holy, you know, holy hippelach. How special, how special people Everyone, are. If he saw the holiness in everything, he saw that spark, that chilek wow. the Oh uh -huh. 
خلقو به تختی اچ راستی و خسد سوز سوز شون اچ راستی و خسد ایمون دو و دین گل مایشو یا گلی بی ای اردی ریجویس بیشو از سخو از ایف یو گی می یو یشو تیره لارا 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 someone really holy but the holy was like I don't know and those people who, who I thought look you know what I thought was holy was not I didn't really betray it. I'm a kid said you hop I needed to get a good translation of holiness until I once heard a story of Shlomo and he said the holy the holy holy of the holiest and it goes on you know uh, of the holy um, the holy sea of Lublin He was so holy that he could see through everyone. He, could, he looked at you and he right away saw everything in you. And, but he was very sensitive. Anybody who wasn't that holy, who touched him, gave him the hand, or like in any type of way, he would like start shrieking. That's how, and I was like, oh, come on. What type of holiness? And I listened to the story and there was a problem because So everybody knew that they don't, they don't give him his hand, they don't give him the hand, you know, okay, so the Rebbe doesn't, he's stuck in his own, you know, okay, mask him. But he came to give me a, a haircut. You need someone to like, you need, there's no, you know, touchless, cord, touchless, uh, you know, <laughs> haircut, machine. haircut machines yet. So, okay, so every, every time they had to cut the hair of the Rebbe, there was an issue. The person would say to Hillam, let's do tshuva and go to the mikveh and, and do everything possible and put on a gat like Tira Bishmol. Tira Bishmol, go into the Rebbe and the Rebbe would say, oh, yeah, right. and he was like, oh, and Mamash Koy Matsuras, you know, they had to uh, do that quickly and Ugu with him, the guy was Mamash, all the virus from Mechipa just by, by, the, by the fear and the pain that, that he had to, to and also the Zhia, but that combination of fear and Ahava. But it was a big deal because nobody wanted to take the risk because everybody knew, oh, the Rebbe was yelling by him yelling more. Or if I... <laughs> so the Rebbe had longer and longer hair. There's a statement, the Rebbe needs a haircut. So the Chassidim went out to the market. They're going to find a, a regular guy who cuts hair and they're going to pay him extra. And they say, listen, this is your job. We're going to cut this guy. He's good. So they find right away in the market, they see a guy with long hair, <laughs> ironically. And what we would call like a hippie, you know, sitting there, you know, he, like there's a big sign over there, it says street barber, and another sign, street doctor. Okay. So they go over to him and they say, hey, are you a barber? And he says, could you read? Yes, I'm a barber. He says, so, do you have a business card? Uh, I'm a street barber. I just go from town to town. Okay. So he says, listen, I have a job for you. I need you to do a haircut. How much do you charge? He says, I charge uh, two copicas. You know. He says, I'll pay you 300 copicas. What? I've never had such a job. What is this? Like each individual here? No, 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 no. You're going to give a haircut to an individual, a very holy man. He naturally is going to yell. He's going to scream. You just go ahead. Don't, 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 be, don't be intimidated. Just go do the haircut. You know, giving, the, giving him the instructions. Okay. And the Hasidim were afraid because on one hand they didn't want to do it, but on the other hand, what could we do? You yeah, know? And this person didn't even prepare. 
He didn't know where he's landing. He, he, no, he's coming straight out from the street and he's going there. They were like, oh, what's going to happen? All the, you know, the kaboom that they were against, that they were running away. They didn't even want to hear that everybody yelling. They couldn't imagine the pain that I was going to be in now. What could we do, you know? That everyone needs a haircut. It's like a surgery. So, the, some, you know, the they push him in. Go, go, go. And he goes in. The Rebbe looks at him. And he says, I came to give you a haircut. He says, oh, Hashem, thank you. And the chassidim, they, 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 they don't hear. They were afraid maybe something happened to the Rebbe. They, they didn't hear anything. They peek in. And they see the Rebbe going, shh, shh. They were like, oh, my gosh. This is something. Either the Rebbe snapped, the Chabdash or there's something very holy about this man that we don't know. How, how is it possible? Look at him. And they looked at him and they said, nah, must be that something's happening. So they came in and said, the rabbi's like, yeah. Psh, psh. So he finishes the haircut and they follow him. <laughs> Hasidim, they don't let this go like this. Come here, tell me, are you someone special? Is there something we should know about you? He says, I'm a street doctor. I'm a street barber. <laughs> what else do you want to know? No, no, come on. Give us the real deal. That's all. I don't know nothing. I'm just, I try my best. They took him to the Kretschmer, which is a little bar. And they, you know, they oh, had... The trunk in they, the oh, they started, uh, they said, keep Now we know open. the story is really true. Yeah. <laughs> keep an open, what's it called? Uh, uh, open tap? Yeah. Yeah. Tap the marshman. Keep on, you know, Yain, Kiddush, Lavdula, Arba Koises, you know, the whole tale of Mahersha, you know. Everyone sit down and you, 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 for me, for dich. And he drinks, and Baruch Hashem is already in the Kailam, and we see now. And they ask him, tell me, tell me, what, 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 tell me something about your life that was special. He said, I've done nothing special in my life. In fact, I'm a loner. I have no one in the world. I have no parents, I have no siblings. I have no one. I used to be, listen, he says, I'll tell you the story. I used to be a doctor. And I would go from town to town and find people who, with illnesses and I would prescribe them with whatever they needed. And um, one day I came to a market and I see that it's not, oh sorry, there's no regular day going on there. There's, the market is not really on. And I, I, I was like, what's going on? There's a whole situation going on. There, the whole setup over there in the marketplace is a, a, a whole, like a judge and, and a, a whole courthouse set up over there they're going to give, there's an individual that he was accused of doing something bad and there was someone that stole something and, and major and they accused him because why not? And there's a wife and ten children sitting in the side with tears in their eyes. They, they're seeing what's going to happen over here. And they're sitting and he's arriving then and they say that he's going to get 20 lashes. And this guy is a doctor. He says, I looked at him and I saw this, this guy is innocent. It's just like they do whatever they want because nobody is here to fight them. And he's thinking to himself, 20 lashes, I know these lashes, what it means. And I look at this person, he's not going to survive it. So I looked up and, and I hear 20, 20 lashes. I pipe up and I say, I thought to myself, I have no parents, nobody's going to miss me. I can't, I can't let this person just, he said it was me. It was me. At that moment, they took him up. Give me some harmony over here. Uh-huh. They took him up. They thanked him for telling the truth. Because they, they said, they also thought that he was innocent. But now that you're saying the truth, thank God. And they said, but you're going to get 30. And they started giving in one after the other. And after every last she would cry. He says, Oh no, Hashem, for whom am I doing this? For a fellow ye. I see you know. And he, would, and he says, He doesn't remember the rest. He woke up, swollen, broken, head to toe. It took him months and months until he recovered. A doctor, he couldn't be anymore because he couldn't show up like this, say, I'm a doctor. So he became a barber. And at that moment, he took off his shirt and he showed all the marks. He said, look at all those marks. And the chassidim understood. 
A year that takes pain for another year. A year that stands up for a fellow brother or sister. That's a person who's really holy. And that year is the year that was Messiah, the Heilige Choyzer of the Blame. So now I understood what it means. There's two types of holiness. You can daven and learn all day. That's so holy, so beautiful. But then there is some holiness beyond, beyond all holiness. Chab and clap for a year. someone cross the street you know there's the people who would not forward a message that might hurt someone else you know there's people like people that are in your group yeah and whether today is it's you know we can't forget about the mass and tavim sometimes we get caught up in the learning I learned this I learned no, that's this beautiful we keep on learning chance. it's very very important the Mass and Tevim, that's why we, Yidin, we work. We do, we have to go to work every day, every single day. It's not Stam. I just, I just finished, you know, I, I just finished Chagiga. It's a beautiful Masech. It's like the first time I finished it. They're like, wow. So I learned over there, there's a story of a person who would walk three months to get to a place, to Yeshiva, to learn. And then we walk back three months and just learn one day. It's like amazing. And... They gave him the Chachamim, the, 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 you know, the, the yeshiva people gave him a name, a nickname. Chad Barba Yoyme de Chad Barba Yoyme de whatever, I remember the name. Barba Yoyme. If you remember it, just type it in. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm done in here. That means like a yeshiva man for one day. He's like a one day, a one day yeshiva man. Like, they gave him like a nickname. So the Bjorchner goes in and he's... And, and he heard that, that they gave him a nickname and it came back to him. Someone forwarded him the message, I guess. And this guy got the, uh, the memo that they call him that name and he was very hurt. Excuse me? I walked three months for one day. But I learned. And the, the three months back, how do you think that three months is? Well, what I learned that day is beyond. So the Rebbe goes and asks him, don't, don't be upset at them. Don't, don't be upset at them. They're like, you know. You know. And he says... These are my friends. That's what bothers me. These are my friends. So he says, he, he, count, he comes up and he tells everyone to sit down and he gives them a, a, a rush. And he dash is somewhere that Yoim and Shunu, that a day and a year, that, that he learns from there that Kala Oisik, Betoira, Yoim Echel Bashona. If someone learns, someone is Oisik, someone is like really like learning that Torah one day a year, it's, it's like he learned all year long. And then it goes further and he says, and someone hurts someone, someone this does something uh, sinful thing, one, only once a year. It's like all year he's doing that. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. The first one I liked. But the second one, hey, we all make mistakes. Why did you, at once it happened, then why, uh, what's going on here? And then I think I chapped it and I said, he spoke to the students and he said, I know you're ultimately the Chachomim, you're learning all year long. But what's your essence? Are you a Chapniak? You know, you speak Yiddish? Yeah. Are you a Chapniak? Are you a, are you, are you a learner? Are you, is your essence Torah? Or are you Chapniak? You can learn all, day, all year long, but if you are a person who's going to find always, oh, <laughs> let's give him a, nick, a nickname, let's like, then you're missing the point. You're all year in that. that that's who you are. Learning. He is going, he's walking three months, three months. He's not a yeshiva for most of the year. 
He's only there once, but his life, he's breathing that. So where are you, you know? You know, you could be in a studio and, and, and learn Torah, you know? And you can be uh, in yeshiva and then mm -hmm. forward messages. So, you know, uh, you know, uh, where is Baiz Hashem, you know? So there's a word, I think it's from Sham Shul uh, that's what I heard about. But, but it makes sense even for the Bosham Tov. That it says, He says, if you stop your learning and you say how beautiful that tree is, it's like, yeah. you're like, whoa, whoa, what happened? It's, it's a tree, hello. It's not something, you know, he saw a tree. What? He says, the key word is amafsik. If you see a stop between the, the, your learning and that tree, if you don't see that as one big uh, grand part that's a very of, good word. of Torah, yeah. if you don't see Torah in that tree, you're missing out. You must have, so I'm sitting by Bais Hashem because I'm extending Bais Hashem wherever I am. I make this Bais Hashem. I go on the street, I make Bais Hashem. Yes. My car is Bais Hashem. So Bais Hashem doesn't mean I have to be stuck in the, in the four walls of the yeshiva. Bring me a coffee and a tea and uh, keep me learning here. That's a good word. Tell me before you finish, because I have one, one good personal story. I've wow. never said it in public, as I mean, as, as in life. Wow. It has to do with Satman and Chabad. And, and it's, I, you know, wow. Thank you so much. Let's do a song first, and then we're going to get to that. Okay. We don't have to wait until the end. Hold on a second. Barbe Rav Dechad Yoimo. Oh, thank you. Bar Berav, the Chad Yoima. Bar Berav, meaning someone who sits in Yeshiva, Chad Yoima, one day. Wow. It's in Aramish. And that's the story that I'm going to lead, leading into, that's what reminded me, is that Aramish story. I'll, I'll tell you that. Burich Atu, I said it already, right? Yeah. Do I have to say a brach again if I haven't said it already on camera? <laughs> it's a shal of no, 2019. You've already made the bracha before. Because if it's Maras Ayan, you know, because yes. all the people are saying, okay, L'chaim, L'chaim. L'chaim is like a bracha. Because what I'm, what I'm giving you is a bracha. L'chaim. Okay. Did we do this? Which song are we doing from the request? Sounds like Leibadik? Ah, thank you so much. This is a whole different story. Let's do Aliyah and Novi. Aliyah and Novi? Oh, I have such a good Aliyah and Novi story. Okay, let's... Stories only from other shows. Oh, it's much I want you all, wherever you are, if you can put the phone down on the counter or whatever it is, you just go like seven claps along with me. Start now. Da 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 
about the beautiful Hatchewiri. Oh, you like the sound? Look at this one. I went into the shop and I said, give me the largest yarmulke you have. He didn't, he didn't even know he has this one. And I put it on. And I feel, I feel like, I feel like Kim Kardashian in a MAGA hat. Like Superman. Or 2001, not sure exactly, before I got married. And uh, I had a friend, Satma Bachar, you know, older than me, he used to travel more. And uh, he tells me one day that he came across a family, they live somewhere in Massachusetts, in like a little town, and they only have like six Shoemra Toyota mitzvahs there. They go to shul, and they, they, they walk to shul. Some of them walk for over two miles to go to shul, to daven together. They're not, they're not a minion. Even though they don't have a minion. Even wow. though they don't have a minion, they have, you know, I said they had chazi minion, they should say chazi kadesh, right? <laughs> but they had no minion. So when we heard that, we decided, you know, Bakr, we need to, we're searching for where to go. You know, in our days, Bakr would go, go to a Rebbe, go, like, going there, my, my mother would say, like, Yoli, Zafkaira, we got to Mel, where are you going? I don't know who that, who that person, like, where are you going? And I said, Mommy, the rest of our friends are telling their mothers they're going to Tosh. So, where do you want me to go? You know, I'm going to the real deal. I'm going, we're going to be Mashlam Minya. And from then on, whenever we went, we would go there, it would be their Yom Tov, their Simcha. It would be announced the shul of the week, the, year, the week before that next week we're gonna have a minion. We would gather. We had a great time. We would like get into a minivan, like all six of us or five or seven, no matter who. You know, every 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 time different. We'd go there. They, the guy who hosted it, they would make shabbos together. Everyone together, the whole kehila, like four or five families, and three singles, wow. and, you know, and us. We would sit together, and it would be. Beautiful, you know, could you imagine? We're sitting in Bukhara, I'm innocent from Williamsburg, straight there, you know, there's no, we didn't get any training, I think we're just singing, singing, and doing our, our thing. And uh, so, one week, so they had a, an attic that, had, that slept, that had 12, 12 uh, beds over there, and a pool table, ping pong, and everything you needed. Wow. So, we got there, and we were like six, seven, doesn't matter, every week, you know, let's go. Not every week, every time we went. So one time we went, usually we, we would arrive there like before Shabbos, right before, like like 10 minutes before, 20 minutes after the Dismal, you know, everything. We like arrive, yeah, yeah, okay, Shabbos. So they wouldn't mind because we weren't in the way, you know, like we arrived there, we, we knew exactly how we went up there. And this one week we arrived there was a little bit earlier. It was like, about, by mistake. By mistake. By we mistake. were like, oh, what are we doing now? We have like about three, four hours now. Wow, that's very early. It's a lot. And I, so my friend says, don't worry. About 20 minutes from here, there's a university called Brandeis University. And, you know, we are like, like university? What? Uh, university? We, we didn't know. Like, we're, okay. So we're going. You know, it's like a college. It's like a campus, a college. Okay, whatever, you know. 
You don't, you don't, you, you don't understand what because you, when you were 13, you were already putting on full on people on the street. We were like, <laughs> we were 13, and we didn't even know how, you know, we were like focusing on not, you know, uh, you know, yeah, different, different. Yeah, okay, sure. So we're there, we get to the college, I'll picture that. We're like, best look, titsis, you know, outside, like, uh, you know, vulnerable titsis, pious, a bunch of six chevra, storming, storming Brandeis University campus. And naturally, we make a scene, you know, without saying a word, people will come over. Hello, we're nice, hello, hello, yeah. What do you do, yeah? What do you do? Oh, what do you do? So we're talking, like, start talking, like, but some of us had a broken English, and the other one didn't know English at all. So we were like, no, we were like, we spoke English, but we were like a little bit like, so tell me what's going on, what's the story, like, uh, talking, like, uh, people came over, someone introduced himself that he's Jewish, and they say, oh, wow, you Jewish? Okay. And then another person says, uh, I'm Jewish, and then he said, what's your name? And he says, I don't remember, like, they, uh, whatever. Steve, I don't know, some kind of a... Slowly you can have a minion. Yeah, so I said, do you have a Hebrew name? He says, I think so, I, mean, I remember, yeah. Yeah, I remember, it's Zev. So my friend, naturally, like, he's like, he, he has, you know, these people who have Mishigas, whatever they hear, they start singing, you know? So this guy was like, he starts singing, Oh, Zev, Zev, you did not shine me. And we sing along. We all sang along. And he stands himself. The first time he meets us, six people around him singing a song about his name. And he's like, whoa, how did it happen? Did you, like, what? So he wanted to know more about us. So we wanted to know more about him. So he shows, he shows, he shows us around. He introduces us to the Hillel thing and, 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 and the Brandeis over there. So it's around, and we get to talk, and he says, you know, I, I would love to, to, you know, to, to chat, to hang out with you more, because we were already going. We said, we're going for Shabbos here. Listen, if you want to come along, we have enough beds. And he says, seriously? We can, I can go, yeah. So he hops in, you know, into the minivan, and off we go. We come back there, it's right before Shabbos, and, oh, we had a Friday night, singing, davening. That minion, that minion was alive. It took the davening, you know, usually takes like 30 minutes. It took the, an hour and a half, but everyone was in. It was like a kipper. It was like singing some chastoyra, singing and dancing and crying, everything. We went from there to the meal. We ate. Great time. After the meal, we sat outside, sipping beer, tapitas, chickpeas, you know, usual Friday night meal. And we were sitting like this, and in between us, we're talking... We forget, we're talking Yiddish most of the time, but when he's there, we try to speak in English. So we're embarrassed of our, you know... Perfect English. Yeah, we're embarrassed of our, I was uneducated, you know, we're, we're uneducated. He's like from Brandeis University, studying law, and we're like here, and we keep on, we keep on talking Yiddish, we say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know. So he says, it's so cool that you guys speak Hebrew, and we say, no, no, this is not Hebrew. He says, uh -huh. Yiddish. And he says, wow, you speak Yiddish? What is Yiddish? So he said, Yiddish, you know, it's a Jewish language, it's Yiddish, you know. He says, wow, you guys are amazing. So then we start singing a song, you know, uh, uh, whatever, a Hebrew song, uh, and, uh, a song for Shlom, whatever. And he says, this is also Yiddish? He says, no, no. This is, this is, it's like Hebrew. He says, Hebrew? He said, no, no, no. He says ancient Hebrew. Some of us, one of us knew that the word ancient. This is ancient Hebrew. This is not the, 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 the Israeli Hebrew. This is ancient. This is from the, when the Bible was written. This is the ancient Hebrew. And he goes, wow, and you, 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 you understand it? He said, yeah, we understand it. So this is like, wow, is the Talmud written in that? No, he said, no, the Talmud is written in Aramaic. And he says, you speak Aramaic? He said, we don't speak it, we read it, we write it, we, we can understand, we communicate. We have words that we use from there. Like, Adra, Brit, Mustafa, we start talking to each other. And he's like blown away. He says, you guys are so educated. And we took it as the biggest punchline. And we were like, oh, you, you're joking, right? He said, no, you guys are really educated. And we look at him, and we look at each other like, he's saying something. We're always looking on the outside. Are we educated enough, and you know, to please somebody else? To please 
like who? You look at, you know, what we are, the essence that we need, we need to be educated. So I love that story. And the story is that we had a great Shabbos, he went home, I have a picture at home, with all of us having a whole nice class picture, that's it. But this story I took along with me, wherever I went, whenever I felt I, I, I had friends with me that were like, hey, let's, like, you know. And I was, I was like, I was once at the Koisel. Friday night, and there was another Sapna Chavar of mine, and you know, Sapna, we don't go to the Koisel. I went to the Koisel. I was like, yeah. I'll just take a little OTD in this area. I don't know, OT is off the or on the, I don't know, it's O. And I'm there, and there's another guy, my friends, and he's like, I don't feel nothing here. I said, get educated. He said, what do you mean? So I tell him this whole story, him and another few friends. I tell him the story, and along the story, I keep on singing the song. Because throughout the whole Shabbos, we sang. So, and we I tell the whole story, get educated. The story is finished. And as I finish the story, like out of a storybook, I like, you can't make this up. It's like someone knocks on, the, on my shoulder and says, Yoli? And I said, yes. He says, you don't recognize me? And I said, no. <laughs> and he looks at him and he smiles. I see his smile. I remember his smile. And I go, no way. I didn't say a word. I turned to my friends and I said, please sing the song that I sang till now. And they all together in unison go, oh, Zev, Zev, you did not shine. And he goes, how do they know? And he goes, Zev, what's going on? I couldn't recognize him. Zev had a big beard. Zev had a hat and a capote and a gato. And he tells me, come, I'll show you my yeshiva. And we walked an hour and 50 minutes from the Koisel to the Lubavitch yeshiva. Wow. And he shows us this room over there. And he shows us his chavirusa and everything. Zev lives in Mansi. And Zev is a chassidu shigamah. L'chaim. Started through Satmer boys, through Lubavitch. Bring him a sheikh. A moment wow, at a time. and China. Wow. Wait, is there a border there? They have a wall? <laughs> it's on the earth of the Fege, mother of the Reb Nachman. Reb Nachman's mother of Fege is the earth of the... Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. And also, can I say a Rufush Lema? Sure. If you, if you are inspired, sure. if, you, did, sure. if you had something nice, let it, let it be a Rufush Lema of Shraga Shmuel Ben Chayetz Poira. Rufush Lema, Amen. 
some people are asking for something quicker. Something quicker? Are they falling asleep? That's not bad. I mean, the time is 11.57. We have a lot of people here in Flow Motion, they, and they like fast songs. Ah, Flow Motion. Yeah. Okay. Bum, 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 ba, da, da. This is also another swing We have a lot of black market songs today. beginning so this is only the beginning of many times but we're gonna give a, a shout out a thank you a look at the thank sure, you sure sure we gotta give a, a thank you to all of you who made it possible all of you shoifres that are taking that kia further and and mama Shur, you are the ones who are going to reporting be reporting on bias mashiach starting with co col live C-O-L live yeah of course uh gruntik Gruntig, I remember Gruntig was one of the very first ones spreading uh, Yiddish videos around. Matzev also, Matzev.com, I remember. Ah, let's make a Matzev. The Lakewood Scoop, very strong, very powerful. She is Zoli. She is Zoli is a good friend of mine. We grew up in this, yeah. we grew up, we used to, each child was in the same building, you know. And She is Zoli is a very good friend and he's, and he's very powerful because he has a, he's spreading, he's spreading a lot, a lot of, Oh, a lot of good clips. Greater Lakewood. It's even greater than that, right? Boss is Nias. Boss is Nias. Boss is Nias. Boss Nias. Kikara Shabbat. And Kikara Shabbat. And Geula Dat FM. And last but not least, Flow Motion Studio. Flow Motion. Flow Motion. Chan. And also, what else? Uh, Fitcher, where were you before you came here? Uh, that's the thing about flow motions. I told you, you could land in here two minutes before you got to go live, and everybody's ready with the cameras and with everything. Um, we were on in Times Square. C nice. teams, yeah. C teams. What do what do they do? C-teams? So Yaka Shrek was actually performing over there. Nice. Um, he's too busy. He's like singing outside, and you know, I was gonna schlep him here together, but. Well, it's amazing. Too busy. Yeah, but it's really, really amazing because C teens they actually zoomed in, basically Chabad all around the world. They zoomed in to try to get teens, like really young teens, teens of the future, of all over, from Israel, from Russia, from even guys from Australia, from amazing. France, from 
Mamish Sea Teens International. Sea Teens is Chabad Teens. And they came here, they had a whole Shabbaton. And it's really, really amazing. I was there with them Thursday, Friday, they have a whole meal together, Shabbos. And then during the day, they go out to like different families. And tonight they had a thing in Times Square. They're still out. Amazing. You know, having, a, you know, they're Malava Malka now in Crown Heights. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Fitcher, Paolo Fitcher. And, Thank uh, you very much, Yeli. You should know Yeli is so busy, and now we know why. Oh, Every uh, Matzah Shabbos, I, I, you know, I call you like Thursday, Friday. You know, usually I call you like really, really close to Shabbos. Are you available? Hashem, no, bro. every day, every time you tell me, I'm like somewhere else in the world. So the greatest thanks yeah, comes to why. thanks. Thank you, Hashem. Yes. Oy, thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem, for everything. Thank you, Hashem.